Hello there, welcome back to The Closet Historian. Today I want to talk to you guys about my favorite vintage style accessories, basically uh, my essentials of vintage style accessories, what I would replace, again, if all my vintage accessories went missing, what are the things I would replace first, what are my most essential pieces within my vintage accessory collection, but I do have a little bit more just to talk about on this subject in general because I do have quite the philosophy surrounding how to collect vintage style accessories, so I'll get into that first. As I've mentioned here on the channel many a time, I like to collect accessories in sets, so I like to have a full set of red accessories, a full set of black accessories. I find that is the easiest way for me to be able to style things quickly when I'm in a rush. Uh, I can, I know I can just, you know, have a dress, and if it's got red flowers in it, I can just pair it with all red accessories because I know I have the set of them. That's just how I like to collect accessories. I've talked about it here on the channel quite a lot. It's very repetitive. I'm a very repetitive person. I apologize. But what do I actually consider to be a full set of vintage accessories? What, what do I include in that? Well, to begin with, I think you need shoes and then a matching belt, bag, gloves, hat, scarf, and then jewelry and other accessories, possibly like a parasol or like a larger summery straw bag, or I don't know, an umbrella, things like that. Uh, you can expand on this list you know, forever. But I think the most essential are going to be the top three, the shoes, belt, and handbag. I think that just adds a lot of harmony to an outfit, um, along with a hat and gloves as well. Um, those really just help give a very, like, um, help the eye move along the outfit and bounce around in a very even and balanced way, just because of how proportionally they end up on the body. So I really think that those are the main accessories that I'm always looking for to complete in any one color or material a set of. Building onto the basic set, try finding both long and short gloves, having both a closed toe and a summer shoe, a handbag and also a clutch, a small handkerchief kind of scarf and a larger one, a small hat and a larger one, a wool hat, a straw one, um, a leather belt and a suede belt. This is how you can expand upon the basic set. So once you have, let's say, red or black leather accessories. Maybe you want to have black suede accessories as well. So you have that different finish to um, call upon. I like to collect sets of the same finish or texture like that as well. So like all patent leather, all regular leather, all suede, things like that. Of course, that's once you start, have already built your basic set and you want to expand um, if you have the closet space for it, which I really don't, but uh, that hasn't stopped me yet. And I don't anticipate it will stop me in the future. Also, you want to consider having options uh, based on the seasons too. If you live somewhere with two to four seasons, uh, if you live somewhere where it's warm all the time, maybe you only have to focus on suede and straw and open-toed shoes, things like that. But for those of us who uh, live in places with different kinds of climate throughout the year, so I live in Colorado, so I need sort of wintry things and then summery things. It gets quite hot here and then it gets very snowy. So I like to have wool hats, warmer scarves, um, different like umbrellas, things like that, boots for the winter time, and then straw hats, wicker handbags, things like that for the summertime. So uh, all in red, let's say I will have, I'll, I'll have a straw hat and a wool hat. That way, no matter what time of year it is, I can call upon my red accessory set to uh, serve me well with whatever outfit I'm styling. So with my strange views on vintage accessory shopping and collecting explained once again here on the channel, uh, those of you who've been here a while have heard it many a time, so thank you for putting up with me. I will now get into the actual list of essentials and show you a couple of examples from my collection of what I would replace were I to lose my entire collection of vintage accessories today. Where would I start? What would be my list, my shopping list of my most essential pieces that I would need to build back immediately? Starting with my black leather Marilyn pumps from Royal Vintage Shoes. These are a reproduction 1940s shoe, but I think they work for anywhere from the 30s, 40s, 50s, even into the 60s. They're very classic pump shape. I think you can wear these with modern fashion as well. These are probably my most comfortable vintage reproduction shoes or vintage heel, my most comfortable heels, I guess, in general, really. And of course, black leather is extremely versatile, works with many, many things, works in the summer, works in the winter time. So these are my most essential vintage style shoe I have in my wardrobe. If I were to lose these, I would have to replace them immediately, even though they are an investment, a little bit expensive, these ones, but I think they are well worth it. They're gonna serve you for many, many years, especially if you take care of them better than I do, because I tend to knock my shoes around a bit because I am clumsy, but these are an absolute must for me. Definitely number one on my list of vintage style accessory essentials. I'm also going to put a black traditional handbag here on this list. It's just a mid-century style 
clasp handbag and then also a brown traditional style handbag as well because again i think these work for anywhere from the 30s through the 50s if you're pushing it of course these are more of a mid-century almost like 50s 60s style bag but i think that this is such a classic style that it works for earlier eras as well i will also put a black cord clutch on this list we all know here on this channel that i love a clutch handbag and i think a black cord 1940s clutch is a good place to start if you are interested in starting to collect clutch handbags or 1940s style things in general. I also really love a straw clutch handbag for summer. This one is probably from the 1980s, but you can get them from all different eras and I've seen them in my 1940s wards catalog. So I always feel comfortable styling, styling them with earlier outfits as well. But I like having a straw clutch in the summertime. I think it's just a very fun and summery accessory to have in your collection. As for hats, I think my two most essential hats in my collection are gonna be a black wool beret. For the winter time, I just wear berets all the time. And I think black, of course, is my most common uh, standard accessory color so I would have to have a black wool beret and then a big straw hat for summertime probably a natural straw since it would match almost anything I think a natural straw hat like a low crown like this um, is just an, definitely an essential of my wardrobe and I am so happy to have found these ones which are actually um, 18th century re reproduction hats so I will actually link the link to these the Etsy shop that has these in the description of this video because I don't think they're going to have them forever they are a very nice quality little low crowned hat you do have to like put a ribbon around them yourself but I think obviously it's totally worth it to have a quality hat at this price point because these are not too expensive and uh, having a real vintage hat like this is much pricier than this so I will link those reproduction ones in the description as well for you. And of course, like I mentioned in my recent video about gloves, I think the most essential gloves to have are going to be short white gloves and then black gloves as well. Those are gonna serve you with almost any outfit uh, for both daytime or evening. So short white and black gloves, I think are quite essential for me in my vintage style wardrobe. Then of course, I would like a brown belt to match the bag from earlier in this list and then a black belt to match the bag from earlier in this list. So whatever finish of bag I ended up getting, I would want to have a belt to match that. So if it was a suede bag I found, I would want a suede belt, etc., etc. I also like having silk scarves around, but I think the first one I would want back would be something in black and colors that I could style with different suits. This would look good with gray, with black, um, different colorful outfits as well. You could tie this scarf around your neck or around your handbag, things like that. So a scarf like this would be quite essential for me. And then when it comes to like accessories, as far as jewelry goes, I would just start out probably with a um, couple of sets, like a gold earring and brooch set, and then a silver earring and brooch set. Um, mostly I wear brooches and earrings when it comes to sets. I have necklace sets as well, but I just don't wear like most of the year, I guess I'm wearing a jacket or something that is like higher up in the neck. So I don't really have an open neckline often enough to wear, make necklaces an essential for me. I think brooches are more of an essential for me in my wardrobe. Of course it could be different for you, but that's just how I uh, feel about vintage jewelry sets. I think I'd want a brooch and earring set first in either silver or gold or both preferably, as we all know, I'm a bit of a maximalist, which I'm doing nothing to curb that opinion here in this video, now am I? So if we go by this list I've just given you, I will put them on a chart here. So we have colors across one side and the basic accessory set across the other. And we can kind of put X's in where we have filled in this chart. Now, of course, my next steps would be to find all the missing things here so that I could have full sets because that's just how I collect. I like to collect them all. I It's like a Pokemon game. I don't know why uh, this is how I feel I need to do it, but in my brain, this is how vintage accessory collecting works. So for me, the next step on this like vintage accessory essential journey would be to fill in the rest of this chart here of the things that I didn't include on the first list, but I would really want to have at my disposal in order to style things the way I am used to. Of course, I find things that don't fit into my, you know, wish list. Don't try, don't take any of my boxes of things that I'm looking for, but that I still really like. I'll find like a really pretty pink scarf and I don't have anything else, or I'll find a cute handbag that doesn't really match anything else I have. And I will still get those things, especially if they're a bargain or I find them out thrifting, things like that. But I just like to try and stay focused and build the sets outwards, um, expand upon my sets so that I can call upon things no matter the time or season. There have been several times where I'm trying to style something in the winter and been like, darn it, I don't have like a brown scarf yet. Like it would be so much easier to style this outfit if I did. And so I'm always wishing I had full sets of accessories. So that's why I tend to keep collecting it in this way, even if it is kind of methodical. And some people have told me I take all the fun out of vintage collecting doing it this way, but hey, you know, it's fun for me. Uh, you do you, I'll do me, you know, that kind of thing. 
And I'm not saying this is the best way to collect vintage accessories. This is just the way that I go about it. This is just my way of doing things. You may have your own philosophy on such things, and I'm sure it is just as good for you as mine is for me. So those would be my most essential items that I would have to replace first from my vintage accessory collection. And then of course I, you know, wanted to go over once again, my strategy for how I collect vintage accessories and provide you guys with that chart. I will actually try and link away, I'll link to a blog post where I post that chart as well. If you guys are interested in having a blank one to save on your computer or something like that for, you know, your shopping needs, I suppose. Please do let me know what your most essential vintage accessory is from your wardrobe in the comments below, or perhaps let me know if you have your own strategy or metho methodology for how you collect vintage accessories as well, if you are as nutty about it as I am. And thank you guys, as always, for tuning in today. I will see you again soon. Bye. Accessories, accessories, I guess. Accessories, accessories, I can't speak anymore.